Sir? Ah, ta ta. What is your name, sir? My name is Robert Long and I go by Law Dog. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I guess there's some basis in your uh, name for Law Dog, right? Yes, I'm retired Chief Deputy from North Carolina. And you have a interesting situation. What were you saying? You decide what gets to the sheriff and what doesn't? Yeah, we decide what gets to the sheriff, what doesn't get to the sheriff, whether we call him at 3 a.m. or wait till 8 a.m. And sometimes you make the wrong decision. And what are you going to call him at all? That's right. That could depend on what the sheriff was doing the night before. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> I have no comment. You got to think about that, right? Yeah, but you got to consider everything. Uh, yeah. A sense of humor always helps. Yeah, sure. Now, tell us a little bit about your pipes. We handle new interstate pipes. Uh, I do all the restoration work on the estate pipes. Been doing it for over 35 years. Uh, we source our pipes from various estate sales. I've had numerous people come up to us at this show to sell me pipes. And then what I'll do is I'll take them back and restore the pipes and there's a very lengthy process that I go through to make sure the pipe is pristine because I, I will not sell a pipe that's not pristine condition. That makes a lot of sense. You take pride in your work. You just don't see too much of that nowadays. Well... Not in everything. I mean, there are people yeah, who do good work. I, I think it's something that, that is fading. Let me ask you, what do you see happening in the market today? Like, what's changing over the past 10 years, 5 years? Well, you know, pr prices have a, in the pipe industry have a way of being cyclical, in my opinion. Uh, some of the Danish pipe makers are still strong. Uh, some of the North American pipe makers that are coming onto the market are starting out at, at very decent prices for, for new work. That's something that we didn't used to see. Uh, back in, in the older days, I think the new carvers had to pay their dues uh, to be able to reach a, pri a price point. But you know, a lot of these new guys are really, really talented. And in the past 10 years, there have been no more new carvers come out than I've seen in the prior 20. Sure. Well, the market is changing. It seems a lot of briar today seems to be, oh sorry, sourced from uh, Italy. And some people are also starting to source it from Greece. Yes. Moroccan briar seems to be one of the unspoken ones for, yes. which is actually an excellent source of briar. And Dunhill did source that for their Cumberland pipes in the 80s. People yes. finally caught on to that. A lot of group five and six uh, billiards from the 80s were excellent, excellent smokers. smokers. But uh, let's take a look at your table here. You have everything across the board, I see. We, we have pipes from $50 to $3,500. You have the $3,500 pipes? Well, it's sold. It was a yes, yes Conowitz. Ah, okay. I guess it was a smooth Conowitz. It was a very nice Conowitz. Okay. It went to a very special collector. Four Winslow pipes here as well. Un unsmoked Winslows. These, these are his, his private collection, which is, those are the top of the line. This is a source of Dunhills unsmoked. Uh, from a collector out of New Jersey that we work with. Pro probably one of my favorite makers. Pop. Great to see you, man. Take see care. you later, Fred. Yes, Adam Davis. And this is my dear friend, Fred Hanna. Fred, Fred, wave at us. This is the maker of the Flintstones from Hanna-Barbera. He, he is the maker of the Flintstones. And, and he also likes to cook tobacco in his wife's oven and explode the tin. Well, no, no, wait a second. Come here, Fred, come here. No, 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 Fred, come here. You're not getting off the hook so easy. What, what? When I was talking to Fred, he says, he says in his spare time he likes to go to Dwayne Reed or Genovese and get some Alka-Seltzer, that's sodium bicarbonate. But it's not the end of the story. Uh, and he goes to a fish, no, 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 he's not getting off so easy. He goes to a fish market and he gets some fish sticks, salmon sticks. And he rubs it on the sodium bicarbonate. And then he goes down to the river, east or west, if he's in New York or some other place. He crumples it up and he feeds it to the seagulls and boom! He watches them just blow up in Jesus the air. Christ. And then, yeah, well, people call me that very often. Where I tell them that they mistake. Now, no, 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 you're not getting off. Come here. Come here. And then he runs like a from Greenpeace. In fact, he's got roller skates built into his shoes. Show us your shoes. See, now this is now this is a man when they ask him to give him a pipe sock, he takes off his shoe. The guy's a madman. The guy's a madman. Fred, Fred, Fred. Bye-bye. So no, I like good jokes. <laughs> well, 
I, I, I appreciate you spending your time with me. Sir, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Like I said, a lot of interesting people here at the show, and the, we are going to be posting on YouTube. Take care. Thanks All so right. much for your time. Yes, sir.